Mm. I really like cheese. Wait, no. <laughs> I like cheesecake. Well, I mean, cheese is okay too, but like cheesecake. Cheesecake. And strawberries. Mmm, strawberries. <gasps> I miss my dog. Maybe I'll drive home so I can see my dog. I miss her so much. <gasps> oh my god, oh, you scared the shit out of me. Jeez, that was really rude of you. I really do not care if all you said was, hey, you scared me. Yeah. I was very deep in thought. Thank you very much. Oh, <gasps> how did you know I was talking about cheesecake and my dog? Are you, like, psychic or something? Oh, you overheard me? I don't know if I believe that. I think the psychic idea works better and is way more believable. You can't hide from me. I'm cute when I'm drunk. No. Mm -mm. But you're cute when you do anything. Yeah, even when you're walking, it's cute. <laughs> yes, you are. Wait, what did I say? What do I mean? Wait, what? Wait, what do I mean? Am I talk- wait, what am I talking about? I don't know. Do I mean- wait a minute. Do I like- do people mean like things like- I have a meaning. Do I have a meaning? Am I like a good meaning or like a bad meaning? Or like a weird meaning? I'm probably a weird meaning. Aww, you think I'm a good meaning? I don't think so. <laughs> I, um, I have some temper issues, as you know, like that one time, um, this girl, like, came over to me and accused me of eating her cookie, and I was like, I didn't eat your cookie, what are you talking about, and she was like, yes you did, and I was like, no I didn't, I have my own cookie, and this cookie is better than your cookie anyway, so why would I eat your cookie? This was in kindergarten, by the way. Anyway, this girl, like, got mad at me. And I'm like, I didn't eat your cookie. Stop. And then, um, long story short, I ended up kicking her. And uh, they sent me to the principal's office. I know. See, I told you, I have temper problems. Why are you just standing there? It's weird. Come sit down or something. Wait, no. Don't go. I don't want to be alone. Yes, I'm sure. Now come here. Well, don't just stand at the edge of the bed. Give me your hand. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> you're on top of me now. <laughs> you look red. <laughs> it's okay, relax, it's just me. No, don't get off. I did grab the collar of your shirt. You have some spot-on observation skills, I must admit. Anyway, your eyes are really pretty. The color, the shape, the tint in them, they're very pretty. 
<sighs> no, I think you should stay right where you are, and I'll slowly pull your shirt so you get closer to me, because the way you're looking at me is, like, really amusing. <laughs> Well, I'm doing this because I've tried to make it super obvious that I think you're attractive and that I find you absolutely perfect and you just ignore all of my signs. But now, with all this drunken confidence, I will pull you in for a kiss and hope you don't pull away. <laughs> and now I'll get on top of you and ask you how you feel. You do? Yeah, I was hoping that you'd say that, you know, because if you didn't, it would have been kind of awkward and stuff, and you know how that goes. Um, yeah, so that's great. What am, what am I saying? I don't know. Just kiss me. I'm just gonna rest my head on your chest because it's comfortable. You're comfortable. Asleep? No. Why? Why would I fall asleep? It's not like I'm tired or anything. No. No, no, no. I promise I won't fall asleep. No. I'm not even sleepy. Like, I could stay up for, like, hours. Or, like, months. Maybe not months. Maybe, like, a few days. The moral of the story is that I'm not sleepy. No. Falling asleep. No, I'm not, not asleep. No, I don't want to pinky promise you. Because then I'll have to move. I don't want to move, I'm comfortable. And, um, I, I might break your pinky promise and I can't do that. So I'm not even going to take the chance. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't break pinky promises, you know that. Well, it'll just have to be a normal promise. Thank you. 
so comfortable and letting me love you like I do. Thank you. I'm so grateful to have you in my life.